have been a painter, could have studied law. Instead, you are my paintbrush, you're my curriculum. Could have been a sailor. Hello, everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, since you're in a uh, holiday season, I personally have lots of time in my hands, so I've been digging YouTube for a couple of hours a day and I managed to find a couple of very cool YouTube channels that I've been binge-watching like crazy these days and I thought um, it's a good idea to share those with you as well and check them out So the first one is called JCS um, Criminal Psychology and I'm not sure um, like I personally I'm very into the type of like psychological and mysterious kind of stuff and um, this channel is very cool because it has like um, real criminal uh, cases uh, from US and Canada and it actually shows the whole interrogation which is like a real interrogations and it has a couple of um, uh, like uh, a psychological um, anal analysis of different different aspects of um, like a criminal psychology and uh, what made the, for example, interrogator think that, for example, that person is a suspect and what was the process of um, uh, interrogating them and uh, it's very cool actually, so... Exactly. ...to believe that she's relaxed enough to doze off, when she is in fact extremely alert and anticipating his arrival. She places her head back on the table to feign a placid state once more. And you'll notice her left shoulder hovers in what looks like a very uncomfortable position for just over a minute. She then hears the external door open, at which point she takes a deep breath and then fully rests onto the table. Uh, pursuit of wonder and uh, if you're into the storytelling type of um, videos this is really the channel for you and uh, this channel has uh, I think 1.3 million subscribers as of now and uh, it is really deep like uh, it has lots of videos with uh, very cool stories which um, I'm trying to record dude so um, the channel uh, and the stories actually cover a range of topics uh, related to things like uh, social emo emotional and intellectual well-being the year was 2122 Humanity had recently begun its first real phase of mass-scale bionic body augmentations. For the first time, it was now normal for people to swap out body parts with more robust, technologically integrated prosthetics for non-medical purposes. A man named Jack, age 29, had held off on all body modifications for as long as he could and was of the small remaining percentage of entirely organic adult human bodies. Jack worked one of the few still existing physical labor-based jobs, assisting in the construction, upkeep, and use of robotic machinery used to load and unload cargo shipping containers onto commercial ships that self-navigated themselves to and from delivery ports. While being one of the few remaining workers with biological arms and legs, Jack had inevitably fallen behind the increasingly high standards of the job. Naturally, his biological... Um, the other channel is called The Odd Ones Out. And it has, I'm not sure why, it's, it seems like a very well-known channel, but for some reason I just found it, like, it has 16.2 million subscribers and it has very cool animations with cool stories and it's kind of very short clips. Um, and uh, the guy named James, 
and it's mostly about his own life uh, but it's one of those channels that you cannot stop watching when you start when you really start like uh, you want to know something sad? I've earned more money from the two Suabway videos I made about working at Suabway than I did actually working at Suabway for over a year. <laughs> so here we go, Suabway part three, baby. I still got more to say. I used to work there, in case you didn't know that. When I moved out and was all on my own for college, I was feeling a little lonely and homesick. So one day I decided, hey, I'm gonna get some Suabway for lunch. Food that I used to almost eat every day and got for free for over a year, I was gonna pay full price for. I just wanted a taste of home. I wasn't expecting to ever tell this story, but it turns out the employee making my sandwich was a huge idiot. As I was waiting in line, I noticed my favorite sandwich, the Turkey Italiano, wasn't on the menu. The Turkey Italiano, by the way, is the same as the Italian BMT, but instead of ham, you put on turkey. Very simple change. I asked the worker, did you guys have the Turkey Italiano? And he said, no. So then I asked, can I get a BMT, but instead of ham, I have turkey? And you know what he said to me? He said, no. And uh, the next one. I don't know, I like the animation that much, but... Uh, baby. Baby, knock it off. Knock it off. Okay. So, um, the other channel is called Alex Mayers and this guy also draw cartoons but his um, uh, videos are based on like um, different different movies and his analysis of that mo those movies which is so funny like this guy is so funny so I really recommend watching the videos. Uh, he has, I think, 2.4 million subscribers as of now. But like, that's also one of those channels that's really worth binge watching and I really enjoyed it. It's so funny and highly recommend it. It's Christmas time and everyone's out there watching all their favorites. You know, you got like Home Alone, Home Alone 2, The Santa Claus 1 and 2, and of course, who could forget The Hunger Games, everyone's favorite Christmas movie. I mean, The Hunger Games movie came out in March of 2012, so like it's basically a holiday flick, you know what I'm saying? And when this movie came out, it just set the whole world on fire. Now, in case you're one of the few people out there who never saw it or just doesn't remember anything, The Hunger Games is a dystopian future apocalypse story where the U.S. has been turned into a horribly unbalanced society where the majority of the country has to work for basically nothing while the rich, wealthy few live in the capital, enjoying the benefits of everyone else's labor while they get to control everything as they please. Hey, good thing it's all fiction, you know what I mean? Now, in this world, every year there's something called The Hunger Games where two people from all 12 districts have to fight to the death as punishment for this, like, rebellion war thing that happened a long time ago. And this is where our movie begins. So, let's take a walk. The last one is called, I'm not sure if I pronounce the whole uh, channel name correctly or not. It says Chop by Mu. It's a weird name, but um, if you're into some kind of like a medical, um, not documentary, but like it has videos uh, of very cool medical cases and uh, that's really particularly uh, what I'm interested in and I found it very cool because it's not like ordinary documentary with boring uh, terminologies it has a cool story behind it and um, this has I think let's see how many subscribers does it have One point seven million subscribers as of now, um, but this is one of those channels as well, which is very interesting. If you're interested in like a kind of uh, medical uh, clips uh, with interesting um, subject, that's the channel for you, and I highly recommend. A mom ate five-day-old sushi for dinner. This is how her brain shut down. JC is a 34-year-old woman 
presenting to the emergency room with insomnia, sensory deficits, and psychosis. Her husband, Jonathan, tells the admitting nurse that she had a psychotic episode the night before, bent over and curled up on the floor before suffering urinary and fecal incontinence. She hadn't slept for at least the last three days. About nine months ago, JC had some trouble. She got home late from work. She didn't have any food in her fridge and everything was closed. She found some sushi in her fridge that she bought from a gas station a few days ago. She wasn't sure if it would be okay, but she hadn't eaten all day and she knew she wouldn't be able to sleep that night if she didn't have anything to eat. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. And yeah, comment down below if you like me to talk about specific things or if you like me to also keep introducing a new channels that I found. Uh, like because I spend lots of time in YouTube and I'll be glad to share my findings with you as well. So thanks for watching and bye!